Have you ever considered that your perception of reality might be more influential than you think? We begin our journey today with a plunge into the deep waters of the quantum law of being. For centuries, the Newtonian model of reality held sway, a model which painted a picture of separation. According to this, you are an individual navigating a physical world bound by unyielding laws, with nature and the cosmos as detached entities. But the advent of quantum physics ushered in a paradigm shift. It whispered of a universe not so rigid, not so separate, but one intimately intertwined with our consciousness. It hints at a reality that mimics a hologram, reflecting back the consciousness that we project onto it. If this is true, then our reality might not be independent, but rather a mirror of our own perceptions. What if the universe, rather than being separate from you, is actually shaped by you? In the realm of quantum physics, the line between observer and the observed blurs. The tangible and the intangible become intertwined, challenging our conventional understanding of reality. This is where the quantum law of being comes into play. This law suggests that our reality might not be as independent as we once believed. Instead, it might be more of a reflection of our own consciousness. Now, let's connect this with spirituality. In spiritual discourse, there's a concept known as unity consciousness. This principle asserts that all existence is interconnected, that we are all part of a boundless, universal consciousness. It's the idea that we are not separate entities moving in a detached cosmos, but rather integral threads woven into the very fabric of the universe. Quantum physics echoes this spiritual concept. It suggests that the universe is more like a hologram, a grand matrix that functions much like a mirror. It reflects back what is projected onto it. In this context, the consciousness we project becomes the reality we experience. This is a profound idea. It implies that we are not mere bystanders in the universe, passively observing an independent reality. Instead, we are active participants, our consciousness playing a crucial role in shaping the reality we perceive. Consider this. When you look into a mirror, what do you see? You see a reflection of yourself. But is that reflection truly separate from you? Or is it an integral part of your reality, a manifestation of your consciousness? In the same vein, the universe might not be a separate entity, but rather an extension of our consciousness. Our thoughts, our beliefs, our perceptions might be influencing the universe more than we realize. This is the essence of the quantum law of being. It's the understanding that our consciousness might not just be observing reality, but actively shaping it. And this, my friends, is where science and spirituality meet, where the observer becomes the observed, where the microcosm mirrors the macrocosm. This implies that the reality we perceive might not be independent at all, but rather it might be shaped by our consciousness. Let's turn the pages of Neville Goddard's book, Thinking Forth Dimensionally. This work delves into a concept that might initially seem like science fiction, yet it's a concept that's been simmering at the confluence of quantum physics and spirituality for some time now. We're talking about the idea of fourth-dimensional thinking. This is not about adding another point on the compass or another hour to the clock. Instead, the fourth dimension is about transcending the limits of our three-dimensional world and contemplating the infinite possibilities that lie beyond our everyday reality. Now imagine a book. In the three dimensions we're accustomed to, we can see the cover, the pages, the words. But what if we could see every page of the book all at once, every word, every sentence, every chapter? That's the fourth dimension, a place where linear time and space don't confine us. In this expanded view of reality, there's not just one timeline of your life, but infinite world timelines. Each choice you make, each action you take, could potentially create a new timeline, a new reality. And here's where it gets truly fascinating. These realities are not just existing independently. They're potentially shaped by us, by our consciousness. This notion aligns perfectly with the quantum law of being. The reality we perceive is not just a static, unchanging landscape. It's more like a river constantly flowing and shifting, reflecting back the consciousness that's being projected onto it. So when we think fourth dimensionally, we're not just passive observers in this universe. We're active participants, creators even. We're shaping reality with our thoughts, our feelings, our beliefs. 
And that brings us to a rather mind-bending question. Could we be living in one of the infinite possibilities available in the universe shaped by our own consciousness? What happens when we begin to see the universe not as separate, but as a reflection of our consciousness? This question ushers in a profound shift in perception, a shift that has the potential to transform our understanding of ourselves and the reality we inhabit. Imagine for a moment that every decision you make, every thought you entertain, every emotion you feel is echoed in the universe around you. Like ripples on a pond, these vibrations of consciousness ripple out, influencing the fabric of reality itself. This is not just a philosophical or metaphysical concept, but a perspective grounded in the mysterious and often counterintuitive world of quantum physics. If we embrace this shift in perception, we begin to realize that we are not merely passive observers drifting aimlessly in the current of existence. Instead, we become active participants, co-creators of our own reality. This understanding can empower us to approach life with a renewed sense of responsibility and purpose. Think about it. Every action, every decision, every thought, every emotion could be seen as a creative act, shaping the reality we experience. This is not to suggest that we have absolute control over every aspect of our lives, but it does imply that we have far more influence than we might have previously believed. This shift in perception can also change our relationship with the universe. We begin to see the universe not as something external, something out there, but as a reflection of our inner world. This realization can lead to a profound sense of interconnection and unity. We are not separate from the universe. We are an integral part of it. We are the universe experiencing itself. This new perspective can unlock a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos. We are not insignificant specks in an uncaring universe, but conscious beings capable of influencing the fabric of reality itself. The quantum law of being invites us to reconsider our role in the universe, not as passive observers but as active creators of our own reality. This new understanding is not just a shift in perception, it is a shift in identity, a shift in understanding, a shift in being.